Okay, all right. Uh, first of all, um, obviously, it's getting close to the game. Our guys are real excited to play a very good Boise State team. You know, when I look at them, uh, you know, I see experience. I mean, experience everywhere. Offense, uh, what, nine starters, defense, nine starters. Most of their special teams guys are back. And so that's what really concerns you. They're a program that's used to winning. As a matter of fact, they're a program that's used to winning championships. Um, so, you know, we've got a lot of respect for them. Their head coach uh, is, uh, is a very good coach. We actually faced each other a couple of years ago in the first game of the year, and, and he gave his fits. Uh, you know, but uh, we got a lot of respect for this program. It'll be a good test of where we're at. You know, with us, uh, I do feel good about where we're at. Our guys, I think, will be uh, ready to go. Uh, it's just a matter of we'll learn some things. Uh, first game with a new staff, uh, with uh, new, new new players. You know, we got some transfers in. We got freshmen in, added to our older guys. And so that's the biggest concern. We'll learn a lot about our guys, but I, I feel very certain that we're going to play, play our guts out and play hard. And uh, so I'm excited to, 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 to see, you know, see who we're going to be this season. Questions? Gus? Obviously, you guys have been practicing for a couple of days. I know your game week started probably on Saturday, uh, early game on Thursday. Have you noticed a level of, you know, a, a new level of excitement now that you're close to, you know, hitting someone else? In, uh, yeah, there, yeah, there's no doubt. You know, two weeks ago we started, uh, you know, kind of game planning and preparing. I mean, you, you got to understand from our standpoint, we're still, you know, identifying our strengths really in all three phases. Uh, we kind of put in the pieces of the puzzle as of two weeks ago, uh, narrowing things down. You can see a level of excitement uh, from our players, just the intensity and the attention to detail has been been better. That's normal for a first game. That's usual. I'd be alarmed if it wasn't that way. But, uh, you know, uh, our guys are, are getting ready to play. When you have a new head coach at Boise, new coordinators, what's the process like of trying to anticipate what they might do? Are you going back at their other schools and kind of seeing what they were doing there? What's that process been like? Yeah, you know, first games are all about adjustments. Uh, there's no doubt we're a new staff. I'm sure they're trying to do the same thing. We're trying to do the same thing. You know, the thing about their program is, 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 has been stable for a long time. You know, Andy's actually there before, played there, defense coordinator. I mean, so, you know, we'll, we'll see what we're going to get. But uh, first game's a year about adjustments. You know, you game plan, you pre prepare, you predict. At the end of the first quarter, you kind of regroup. Okay, here's what they're doing. Here's what we're doing here. So you kind of got to have a big picture assessment of your answers. Offensively, it's probably a little bit more challenging of a defense. Defense, you just kind of adjust as you go. But – we're having to carry a few more plays probably volume-wise than we'd normally do just because we got to have all the what-ifs. And um, so, uh, you know, we've been working hard with that. Coach, game one, uh, two, two new first-year head coaches Thursday night, ESPN. What does this game mean as far as setting a tone for and two premier group of five program? Yeah, uh, first of all, you know, I think they're a top 25 team. There's no doubt, and they've earned that over the long period of time. I'd be a good test of where we're at, you know, um, you know, real excited. Uh, you know, our players are ready to play in front of a packed house. Uh, you know, this is what you play and coach for, and uh, it'll be very refreshing this year compared to everything that went on last year. Gus, you talked about, you know, the, the, this game. How do you kind of temper maybe some of the excitement? You know, it's the first game. You're going up against a big opponent. It's national TV. How do you try to make sure everyone's – I get maybe too much excitement going into this game. Yeah, you know, I think uh, if you're prepared, you know, there's going to be excitement when the game kicks, you know, starts before the pregame. But once the game gets started, I mean, you got to do your job. And, uh, you know, I'm sure our guys are excited about feeding off the crowd. And uh, we got to give them something to cheer about. And our guys understand that. What are you seeing on film from Boise's quarterback, Hank Backbuyer? What challenge does he present your defense? Yeah, you know, he, he's won a lot of games. Uh, He's a guy that can do a lot of different things. And like I said, there's nothing like experience, especially at that position. Of course, we're fortunate we have experience at the quarterback position too, but uh, we have a lot of respect for him. Gus, it's going to be your first game in the bounce house. What are you expecting from the environment, and you know how excited are you to, to see a packed stadium in yeah, your first game? Yeah, of course, you know, I was the coordinator at Tulsa in 2006 back in the day, the very first year. And, of course, I was on the other end of it. And, and uh, yeah, I was very impressed then. And uh, now that, uh, of course, being on the home side, I, I know I'm really excited. I know our players are, our new coaches are, everything that goes with it. Uh, you know, this is a, a big-time game uh, to kick off the college football season for us and them. Coach, you obviously added uh, running back Woody Barrett to the roster this weekend. Well, what's he going to add to this? Say that again. Uh, Woody Barrett, you added him to the roster this weekend. Yeah, yeah. Well, he just got just got on board. Um, you know, he's trying to get himself in shape and everything that goes with that. So we'll see where that goes, but we're glad he's a part.
Coach, what are your uh, expectations tempo-wise? And can you talk a little bit about how Dylan Gabriel and this offense have adjusted to your you know, tempo scheme compared to, you know, yeah. coming off and they're like the fastest last year. Sure. How they have adjusted to. Yeah, your... well, I mean, we'll see. I don't want to incriminate us about tempo, but they're used to playing fast around here. That definitely helps. And anytime your quarterback's used to it, that's good. We'll just have to see how the game unfolds and everything that goes with that. But the thing about Dylan, you can tell he's a veteran guy. He understands situations, which I think is very important, not just plays and schemes. And, um, you know, the, the first game's going to be about adjustments. And most of the time, it's the quarterback that has to adjust as we go. And uh, yeah, I just I feel real confident that he'll be ready to do that. Hey, Coach. So it's going to be the first game full capacity uh, in a while. It's going to be um, your debut as the UCF coach. It's going to be a top flight game like you were talking about against two premier programs. And oh, by the way, season opener, right? Amongst games with hype to it, where does this rank on the hype, uh, hype uh, regular season games you play? Boy, that's a hard question for me to answer. I'm just so wrapped up on getting ready. That's a big one, there's no doubt. Um, you know, and like I said, first games are about adjustments. Uh, first games are about, you know, uh, doing the little things, not uh, having self-inflicted wounds. That's probably the biggest stress that I have is just not beating ourselves. Uh, you know, making sure we're extremely organized um, and efficient. Coach, how much of a benefit is it that uh, quarterback Joey Gatewood, I know he just transferred in from Kentucky, if he's eligible this year, how much of a boost is that just for your team and your offense and your depth? Yeah, well, he, first of all, he is eligible for this year, we found out. Um, you know, we'll see where that goes. Obviously, he's a big-time talent, like I've said before, and uh, there's no doubt he'll provide value to our team this year. Gus, I, I mean, without a depth chart, I mean, have you guys settled all your ones and twos? And when you look at the special teams battle, that was something you talked about last week. Yeah. Maybe it was going to be crucial for you guys to get knocked out. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll put a depth chart out Wednesday, um, and we'll have everything for you guys. You know, the specialists, we got a, a battle at kicker that's going on right now, and uh, we've not named a starter, but we'll have it to you on Wednesday and be ready to go. Yeah, Coach, over the past 15 seasons, UCF and Boise have combined for six BCS or New Year's Six Bowls appearances. So how important is winning Thursday night? Well, it's it's – Real important just far as being the first game of the year, um, you know, getting momentum and everything. We're playing at home, uh, which obviously that should give you an advantage. But like I said, we're playing a real team now. I mean, we're playing a real team that's an experienced team that uh, I know there's a new staff, but a lot of those guys have been there before. And, uh, you know, it'll be, it'll be a good test where we're at. Our guys, our guys understand that. And the good thing that for me is I'm inheriting a group that's used to winning too. And uh, so we'll see see how things turn out. Hey Gus, uh, I'm in the back here. I know, I know you said you're still trying to figure out your strengths and weaknesses, and I know that was something going into camp. How far along are you on getting everything installed, your whole systems, yeah. and are you comfortable with where you're at? Yeah, and, and, and when I say that, we're still trying. I mean, we've got a good idea what our strengths and weaknesses are. Now, there's nothing like getting out there. You get out there, and in, in the first game, you learn more than you did any of all full f fall camp. How we're going to respond? Some guys respond differently good or bad and um you know everything that goes we're playing a really quality team that's experienced and so a lot of times you can find out your strengths and deficiencies as the season goes in the first game so that's what i meant by that we we we, we pretty much have a good idea of what we think our strengths are and our weaknesses are and trying to build around our strengths and uh, we'll continue to evolve throughout the season and uh, like I said, we've got some experienced guys. You know, the good thing is experience up front, offensively and defensively, and, and that really helps in the long run. Boise's trying to simulate heat and humidity here in Florida during its practice. You've been practicing outdoors all camp. How can you use that as an advantage? How do you think it's an advantage? Yeah, yeah, it, it's, uh, this is a different kind of heat, there's no doubt. It's different than it was at Auburn. Um, it's taken me a while to get used to it, but uh, now that you, once you get used to it, it, it kind of helps. So, I mean, who knows? We'll, we'll, we'll see if that turns out to be an advantage, but I will say this, it's, it's really hot here. <laughs> I'll, I'll go ahead and stand on the table for that one. Coach, because of what happened a few years ago with the two straight unbeaten seasons, it seems like that's what UCF fans expect now. When you were on the booster circuit and, and, the, and, and the tour, is that what they told you? We want to go unbeaten every year? This this program is set up to win championships. That's what they want, and um, you know that's that's why I've, this job was appealing for me. And so, you know, I think that's a good thing, and that'll help us in a lot of different ways uh, in the future. But now you got to go out and do it, you know, and, and that's that's part of the process. And. 
the process of getting to where we say we want to get. You know, this season's a big, big part of that. And uh, but I love the fact that uh, the expectations are to win championships, and that's that's why this job was appealing to me. Guys, I know you got a lot of work to do. You put in long nights, obviously, before the season starts. But how excited do you get, Percy, just for the beginning of the season and new opportunity to call and plays again? Mm -hmm. How much are you excited, Percy, for this? Episode? Yeah, I'm, I'm real excited. Uh, you know, usually about a week before the game starts, you kind of. I flip the switch and I kind of, you can just, I don't need much sleep and my mind's, you know, running 110 miles an hour and just trying to play the game in my mind, all the what ifs and the situations and already kind of have everything kind of planned out best you can before you get there so you don't make just an impulsive, uh, you know, decision at a key moment. And um, so that's really been, been the process. It's been that way for 31 years. I love to coach. I love to coach in big games. And like I said, I'm blessed to be here and, and be the head coach at, at this program. Any pregame rituals or traditions that you take part in? Yeah, just my own getting prepared for a game, going through the game in my mind mentally. Um, and that's really about it. Hey, Coach, back here. How can you tell if a team is ready for a season opener? How can you tell? Um, usually it's just a, a feel. Um, it's usually a feel from your leaders um, because you know you got a handful of guys that are just going to react to your leaders. Uh, but my experience is, if your leaders, uh, if they're locked in and ready to go, and uh, you know leaders will will you to win a lot of times, and uh, so I usually judge that by the leaders in our locker room. Thanks. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you.